In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to visualize ionic results using Volcano Plot. So basically, we are going to reproduce this tutorial here, this online Galaxy tutorial. So I will leave the link to this page in the description box. With this tutorial, you don't need to install any tool or package whatsoever. We are going to do everything on the Galaxy platform. So I will leave the link to this page also in the description box. So what I would like you to do is to first register and get an account and log in with your details. You can still do it without creating an account, but if you do that, your data will be lost after you have closed the browser. So I will advise that you create an account and log in. Okay, so let's get back to the original tutorial here. By the way, I've already covered this same tutorial previously, but I use our packages to generate volcano plot. So if you are interested in that, you can also check the description box for that tutorial. So now I'm trying to do it using the Gladys platform because some people may be beginners when it comes to programming, so they may have challenges initially. So the Gladys platform allows you to run your bioinformatic analysis without you having any programming experience. So that's what I'm doing this version as well so let's proceed so i'll also encourage you to read the introduction here which tells you what volcano plots are so basically volcano plots allows you to visualize ionic results and it also shows statistically significant genes okay when i say that i mean a gene that are statistically differentially expressed volcano plot can allow you to do that so we are basically going to generate something like this and we will generate this other one too let's just scroll down this other one to which shows some annotations okay so that's what we are going to do so let's get started so before i proceed let me also that volcano plots will normally have three colors so this is how a typical volcano plot looks like. We have this color here, this under color, this under color. We have the, the meaning here. So this color, which is blue, represents the down-regulated genes. We also have this gray color representing genes that are not significantly expressed. And we also have this color red, which indicates up-regulated. So it allows you to see these groups of genes. So that's about it. So again, Try to read what is here, especially for a beginner. Now let's go down. We are going to start by getting our example data. So if you are here, just come to preparing the inputs. Click it and then you'll be sent to this page. Or you can also scroll down and you'll find this page. So scroll down a bit and then you'll see this link. So these are the inputs. So what we are going to do first is to download the example data onto our PC and then we will upload it. I'm doing this because some of you may have your own data set that you want to analyze on the Galaxy platform. So I would like to show you the entire process of doing that. So let's download the example data. So these are the respective links. I'll start with this one. So I'll just highlight the link. And then I'll right click and then I'll go to this one here. Go to this link. For Firefox, you may see open the link or something like that. So you can also copy the link and then paste in a different tab. That's also fine, but I will do it this way. So I'll click to download them. The first one has been downloaded. I'll also do it for the second one. So now I have all of them downloaded. So let's check them out. So these are the files. Now, I'm using a learner system by the way, but it's fine. If you have Windows, you can still reproduce the tutorial. So let's take a look at this one, for example. Now this file here, if you download, you may not see a file extension, but you can open it. You can open it with a spreadsheet software. So I'll just open mine. So it's going to be open for me. So this is it. So I have this first one here. This has the genes. So we have the ID and then the symbol and then the gene name. 
and we also have the log2 full change that's the log fc let me just enlarge it that should be better and we also have average expression we also have st i'm not really sure what it is but uh, we are not going to use it by the way so this one we also have p value just said p value so if you analyze RNA-seq data then you are likely to generate something like this and that is what you will need to generate the volcano plots so with RNA-seq when you're analyzing you generate differential express genes you can use tools like HR or the seq or Borgon, etc so those ones i've covered some tutorials on that so check the description box and you will be able to see them and that will also help you to generate these data sets or these results so here the result has already been generated for us so we don't need to do much we just have to use them but if you have your data and you want to generate something like this you can also contact me and then we can work together on that so that's about it so just make sure to open it to a spreadsheet software and then you will see it here so that is for this one so this one has all the genes and then we also have this one here let me just open this this volcano genes so let's open it with a spreadsheet software so we have genes here so these are the ones that we are going to highlight later on by the way but the main file is this one here so take note of that so you don't need to modify this data in any way just keep it as it is that's fine so that's what we are going to do and before i proceed let me say that these are tsv files that means they are tab separated files this one so if you are opening with a special software and then you are asked the separator just select tab and that will be fine okay now let's get back to our galaxy platform okay so now we have the example data so we'll proceed so this is the tutorial by the way let's go to the galaxy platform itself which is here so when you are here come to history this side here and then click on the plus to create a new history so once you do that you have this coming up and you can edit and then i will rename it so i'm going to clear this let me just clear it and then give it a new name so i'll say volcano plots then i'll click on save you can give it any name you want that's fine We are now going to upload the data to this history. So let's take a look at how to do that. So to upload data, there are a number of approaches you can use. One approach is to import by supplying Galaxy with the links to the files. I've fully covered the tutorial on that, by the way. But in this tutorial, we are going to pretend as if we are using our own data set so we are going to upload the files that we downloaded so that's what we are going to do next so when we are here come to this side and then click on upload data and then you can click on this one actually that's what we need to click on choose local files because we are going to upload from our computer so we have to click on choose local files you can also drop the files here that's also fine so i can just let me just use the folder now this is it so i can just drag and then that's it that's the first one and then i can do it again and drag the second one or you can also click on choose local files and select the one you want so let's let's even try that also so click on choose local files and then you can select the one that you want 
I mean, now we have this, so we can add this. So double click, and that will also be attached. Okay, so once we do that, we have to come here and click on Start. So click on Start, and then the data will be uploaded. So you can check the progress here. So start to 100%. 100% that means that the processing here has been completed. So you can close it and then monitor the progress from this side. So here we see a background of gray. So that means that the data is yet to be uploaded. So what we need to do is to wait for the background to turn green. So that means that the data has been uploaded. So let's wait and then get the data uploaded. Okay, the files have been successfully uploaded. So that is why the gray backgrounds have changed to green. Now we can proceed. So let's take a look at the instructions. Let's go back to the guide to rapid and let's scroll down a bit, then get to this section. Okay, this section here. So when you are here, check this. We are going to first generate this volcano plot here, and then we are going to generate another one that includes the gens okay anyway we'll talk about this later let's start with the first one here so we have to use this tool here so let's go back to the galaxy platform here when you are here just come to the left side you will see this search tools entry widget here so just click into it and then you can type you can search for volcano pro so you can say volcano And then you can add a plot. Okay, as soon as you type volcano, you will have the tool coming up here. But you can still add your plots if you want to proceed. So once you have the tool coming up, click it. And then you will have this interface coming up for you. So let's go back to the tutorial page. So here we have to specify an input file. We will use this one here. And then FDR, that suggested p-value, this, this, this. So basically, we are following the instructions here. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go back to the quality platform. So we need to specify an input file. That is the lima boom file, this file here. Remember, we downloaded and we uploaded this one here. That is this one here. Okay. Let's just go back. This one here. We also opened it this one so that is what we are specifying that is this one so it has already been selected for us but if you don't see this make sure you select it and then the next one we are supposed to also specify the fdr column that is adjusted p-value column that is this one here so it says column what? From the instructions, it's column eight. Let's check. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's column eight. So let's get back. So that'll be column eight. And then we also need to indicate the p-value, that is the raw one. That is column 7. So if you are using your own data, make sure that you select the appropriate column. I repeat, if you are using your own data, make sure you select the appropriate column. Okay. Now, we need to also indicate the log for change column. That is column 4. So we select it. And then we also need to indicate labels. That is column 2. And then we also need to indicate significance threshold. We we'll use 0.01. The threshold you will decide what works best for you. Of course, you can look at literature and look at the value have been used, and you can select the one that you want. It can be stringent, so it can be a bit uh, flexible. It depends on you and then what you want to achieve. Okay, and then log FC threshold to color. So that one too, we have to specify 0 
that is a log full chain so we have that also done and then we also need to look at points to label so here it's none we don't want to label any points there because we want this one here no label for us we just want the generic one okay so we have specified all the necessary parameters or options if you can see it that way so what we are going to do next is to run the volcano plus two so we will use this one here so click on run two so once you click it you will see this coming up this has put here so you just have to wait for it and then do it so what will be generated is a pdf file that has the plot so let's wait for everything to get done for us okay the volcano plot has been generated so the output is a pdf file so what we are going to do next is to download this file and then open using our pdf documents viewer so to download click it and then just bring your cursor to the side there's this icon here there's a save icon so click it and then the file will be downloaded so mine has been downloaded so i will first open the folder which has the file and then i'll see the pdf file so this pdf file i'm going to open it now so this is it so this is how a typical volcano plot looks like so we have the blue color for down regulated the gray color for not significant and then the red color for up regulated so that's how it is and by the way i have some tutorials where i discuss the volcano plot so you can check the description box for the links to those videos now let's take a look at the next activity so if you scroll down a bit you are going to find a description of the plots as well as a question and an answer to that question so i will encourage you to read this section especially if you're a beginner what we are going to do next is to create a volcano plot and this time we are going to label the top significant genes so here the top significant genes are those genes that pass the fdr and log fc thresholds that have the smallest p-values so take note of that so we are going to generate a volcano plot like this and then we are going to highlight those top genes so we have agency so these genes are the ones that are found in the list the list here let's just check this one here so these are the genes that are going to be highlighted so let's get back to our platform okay so what we are going to do is to rerun the volcano plot and this time we are going to add this option so points to label will be significant and then we are going to select the top 10 significant genes i want to use this option here so let's get back to the galaxy platform here and then let's come to the side here so here click on this plot again okay, when you are here you are going to use this button here okay this uh, button here to rerun so if you rerun don't worry the original data will still be kept and a new data or a new output will be generated so you don't need to worry about you having the old file removed it will still be there so let's do that so let's click on this one here the rerun button here so click it and then you have the options displayed again so rerunning allows you to keep the old configuration or settings and then you can modify the ones that you want to okay so that's one advantage of using the rerun button so here the points to label we are going to use significance and then when we come here 
only label top most significant. We are going to choose a number. So we will use 10. So that is it. So now we are going to click on run two. So let's click it. So once you click it, the job will be resubmitted and then a new output will be generated. So that is what we see here. So we have a new output being generated. So let's wait for Galaxy to complete its work. Okay, the new plot has been generated. So let's download it. So it is this one here. So let's download it. Okay, the new file has been downloaded. So let's take a look at it. So let's open it. And that is this one here. So I'm going to open mine. Okay, so this is the new volcano plots with the top significant gens. So we have them here. So that's how we use the volcano plus tool on the Galaxy platform to generate volcano plots. So we can see the gens, we see the colors, and everything is looking nice. So you can check the description box. I have a tutorial that shows how to use the JJ plot package in R to generate what kind of plot. So check that. And there are also tutorials on RNSC data analysis. So check the playlists here and also check the playlist that you'll find in the discussion box to learn more about RNSC analysis.